I've struggled to make this video interesting, and it really isn't. But uh, you have to learn it anyway for D8. All right, you said a top molecule has lots of conjugated bonds. So conjugated bonds are alternating single, double, single, double carbon to carbon bonds, in the IB anyway. And the bottom molecule has a lot less of these conjugated single or double bonds. So the IB wants you to know what sort of electromagnetic radiation they absorb. Well, if there's lots of conjugated bonds, then it absorbs low energy light towards the red end of the spectrum. And if there's less conjugation, it's going to absorb towards the higher energy end of the spectrum, which is the violet end. So if you've got a dye-sensitized solar cell, you probably want a dye with not that much conjugation because then it's going to absorb the higher energy light. And if it's absorbing higher energy light, then you've got higher energy in your solar cell. I would imagine an even better DSSC would be one that has lots of different molecules that absorb at different wavelengths. So what happens to this absorbed light? Well, what happens is that the... Uh, the, one of the electrons in the double bond will jump up and then offer the molecule and go around the circuit to power your solar cell, which is in another video. Told you it was boring.